I don't know if you know that. Did you know we call you all essential? Very few people called essential. I don't know if they call me essential. I'm not sure about that. But you're essential. That I can tell you. To every trucker listening over the radio or behind the wheel, I know I speak for the 330 million plus Americans that we say, thank God for truckers. That'll be our theme. Thank God for truckers. In the war against the virus, American truckers are the foot soldiers who are really carrying us to victory, and they are. They've done an incredible they job. Are beautiful, beautiful trucks. That's the real deal. You wouldn't switch jobs with anybody, would you, huh? Yes, sir. You wouldn't. I know the truckers. They wouldn't switch with anybody. It's uh, what they love, right? That's why they're good at it. These are the best, too. Well, thank you all for being here as we celebrate some of the heroes of our nation's great struggle against the coronavirus, our brave, bold, and incredible truckers. And uh, look at that equipment. They're the best made in great companies also, and companies that have really helped us a lot. We appreciate that. At a time of widespread shutdowns, truck drivers form the lifeblood of our economy and the absolute lifeblood. For days and sometimes weeks on end, truck drivers leave their homes and deliver supplies that American families need and count on during this national crisis and at all other times. They're always there. Their routes connect every farm, hospital, manufacturer, business, and community in the country. From the moment the invisible enemy landed on our shores, America's 3.5 million truckers have never wavered at all, and they've never, ever let us down. When we supply our country, we supply it through truckers, and supply chains were stretched thin to hospitals and cities and states. Needed ma they needed massive convoys of supplies. The truckers kept on going day and night. Didn't make any difference to them. They had to get the job done. My name is Charlton Paul. I've been with UPS for nearly 25 years. As growing up, the only thing I wanted to do was sit behind the wheel of one of these massive trucks. It's an honor in having a role in part of fighting this coronavirus. I'm an America's Road Team Captain. I'm a UPS All-Star. I drive 606 miles every day from Newburgh, New York to Brookville, Pennsylvania. I recently carried 180 gallons of hand sanitizer made by one of our customers, Prohibition Distillery in upstate New York. Some of my colleagues of UPS Freight have been delivering barrels of hand sanitizer to the New York City Police Department. I couldn't be more proud of my team. I'm also honored to be here representing more than 495,000 UPS workers worldwide to get essential supplies to our frontline healthcare and emergency responders every day. Lastly, my hat is off to the entire trucking industry for keeping our country and our economy moving. Thank you and God bless you. First, I would like to thank President Trump for inviting me here today and for his outstanding leadership of our country, especially during this pandemic we are facing. For myself and my colleagues at DHL Express, who are picking up and delivering essential shipments every day, we are on the front lines, but we also know that our true heroes are the medical professionals who are battling to save thousands of precious lives each day. It is an honor to support them, especially in the Northeast, where I am based. Within the last month, I've personally transported hundreds of shipments of personal protective equipment and other medical supplies, including several large shipments of, of masks to a private home in, New, in uh, East Brunswick, New Jersey, where the masks were all being donated by the thousands to our local first responders. I am proud to be able to safely support our customers, first responders, and healthcare heroes. It is truly an honor to be here. Mr. President, thank you. Uh, I am Stephen Richardson, and I've been driving with a company called Big G Express out of Shelbyville, Tennessee, for about 19 years. But my total driving experience is 30 years almost. Um, they are an ESOP-owned company, meaning we employee-owned. We own the company. That makes me very proud to know that I'm part of this, this organization. And rich. Very rich. 
Thank you, sir. <laughs> uh, but also, um, in my time of uh, driving in the last couple of years, I've been hauling barrels for a company called Jack Daniels out of Lynchburg, Tennessee. Uh, they make some of the greatest Tennessee whiskey, if I could say. I, I've, I've had a few swigs here and there. <laughs> but in times when the economy's running good, Jack Daniels makes great whiskey. But now that we're in this time of a pandemic, Jack Daniels has switched over to making hand sanitizer. And by me hauling the barrels, it allows the company on the front end to do something for agriculture in our area. It also allows the company to run and make hand sanitizer, which I think is great. Um, I just want to say I really appreciate the three and a half million men and women truck drivers out here that are running up and down the roads every day supplying the, the essentials that we need, the groceries on the shelves, the toilet paper, et cetera, to keep our essential workers out there and keep them striving. Um, I really thank this opportunity to be here and it means the world to me and I would I like to personally say I thank all the truckers in the United States. And I hope that if you pass a truck out down the road, get a chance, say thank you. Since the coronavirus hit in the U.S., I have seen an increase in red residential delivery of e-commerce at FedEx Ground. My husband, Dave, and I have had a family give us a meal out of the back of their pickup truck at a rest area that they put together for truck drivers. We've received thumbs up from motorists on the highways and have seen people standing on overpasses waving American flags to the passing trucks. The, the delivery drivers bringing packages to doors have been sharing photos of thank you letters, notes, cards, and sidewalk chalk messages telling us thank you for still working, thanking drivers for delivering what their families need right now. We recognize and appreciate the unique position we are in, helping to deliver aid and keep the economy moving during this challenging time. Everyone at FedEx would, would tell you this is who we are and what we do. Thank you.